everyone. I'm going to do another beauty look. I've got this beautiful top, which I have to shout off. Um, my daughter bought this from Goodwill Around Us with our money. Um, but I love it. I think it fits really well. I love this design and she loves it. We have this kind of tug of war with it, I guess you could say. I kind of stole it from her, but I've decided that I've had it long enough that I wanted to make a video with it. So here is, here's my video wearing the top and I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I've basically got a base already and I'm going to apply some eyeshadow and some eyeliner and some lipstick and some cheek. And um, I also have something else I um, I have an Etsy business and I paint St. Peg dolls. I haven't been a very public personality in terms of that business. So I am a Catholic St. Peg doll painter who likes applying makeup. I've applied makeup my whole life, but I've gotten into it more recently. Um, I've had a very, I had a couple of very, very hard years where there was tragedy in my life and the makeup is just a fun outlet really. Um, I guess I could say that I fe felt a little bit betrayed by God and, and I, I know I'm not really betrayed by God, but it's kind of like, well, I can tell myself that but there's still stuff that I need to work through. I know that God is all good and I'm going to have fun. Like I, 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 I take care of my family and I practice my faith. Um, but I also think that I deserve to have a little bit of fun and makeup is just that it's fun. It's, it's an artistic outlet. I can, match my eyeshadow to my dress or my my top <laughs> it's and it's a way that after having a couple of stressful years I was able to kind of not look in the mirror and kind of cringe at what I saw really because it was it was pretty bad so this is this is what it is this is um this is this hobby and I'm enjoying doing it and trying not to break the bank in the process. <laughs> so here it goes. I've got this Perfusion palette. You can buy it at Walmart, but let me open it up. We're inside here. And I was thinking of doing this color. Okay, this is the color Facetate, this kind of purpley gray. I almost want to do it darker. It's such a lovely color in the pan. I think I'm going to try to build it up. Maybe I'll try my finger. my crazy phone. There's something kind of peaceful about applying makeup um, when it is peaceful. <laughs> um, I know it's been controversial over over course of time about makeup like is it good is it bad is it evil is it fine is it necessary does everyone everyone need to be wearing makeup um and that answer is of course no definitely not um but can some people wear makeup and i would say yeah sure so once again the mirage mirage palette by perfusion and it's available at walmart that's where I bought it. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to very delicately add some eyeliner. I'm 
Yeah, it's funny. My daughters are in a play. Um, they're in a drama club. And so I was just buying them makeup to do the, the play. And they had to get foundation that was like a couple shades darker or a shade darker than their skin tone. Um, and like I, and when it comes to foundation, I have no idea what I'm doing. I can definitely look at eyeshadow and say, yeah, I like that. That'll look good or no. When it comes to foundation, you get it or you don't really. It's, it's much less forgiving than eyeshadow. I'm gonna try something daring. I'm going to go back into the Perfusion palette and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that Fascinate color. And I'm gonna like dab it underneath my eye to give, this might be more of like an evening look. I had people complimenting me. I had another shirt on this morning. We had to go grocery shopping. I had people complimenting me on my eyeshadow. One person looked at me with kind of a funny look and I don't know if it was to do with my eyeshadow or not. <laughs> but someone else was like, oh my God, if it matches your shirt. And it did indeed match my shirt. <laughs> not this shirt, a different shirt. And what I used for my eyeliner. Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Crayon. I really need to share this palette um, as in show you the whole palette because I feel like in my videos I've been like teasing you with it like here it is here it is here it is there it is and I haven't really shown the palette oh my gosh I have to show you guys this these are little claw prints from another video I did with my parakeets um one of my parakeets ran through it there 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 he just <laughs> ran his way across the palette. Yeah, I was not happy about that. Maybe this one, maybe this color. And let's find out the name. Fresh. Is that fresh? I certainly hope it's, <laughs> I think it's fresh. And I was telling in another video about how I, my face seems to, like, like the products just seem to disappear off my face. And that I would share if something lasted better. And um, I have a little bit of a lip product on my lips. And it is this lip product. This one is called Risky Business by CoverGirl 24 Hour Matte. And I, yeah, I know the... The name is kind of lackluster, but um, there's something risky about a lipstick. But anyway, but I like the color. I'm the kind of person that I would have two nail polishes in my hand, and one got a stupid name like "In the Know," something, something like that, like "In the Know." You know that that might appeal to some people but not me and and then there's another one that's like opal opalescence or or willow stream or something like that and I even though I didn't like the opal stream color or willow stream or um, I would go for the one with a prettier name <laughs> but I would have to like fight myself and be like look you like you like the color in the know better so just buy it but but that's that's kind of I guess the marketing right that's kind of how I am I personally love clothing and I love earrings and I love details so I'm gonna share my earrings with you these are these I got at my flea market they're mother of pearl with the faux pearls the last part of this video is going to be me painting one of my peg dolls but like sped up so that you don't have to sit there for the entire couple of hours that I sat there painting that you will just see the progression and then I'll show a little clip of the finished product. Saint is Saint Adelaide and I sent her off today. I said, I don't have her anymore. 
um, but it was fun to videotape myself and to share that footage with you. Thank you so much for watching. Here's the top I'm wearing. I believe it's from the company Eyeshadow. Um, I mentioned that because sometimes you can find these thrift store items on eBay or Poshmark or some other secondhand website for used clothing. Gosh, if I could find this, I would probably buy it so that my daughter and I had our own and we could stop sort of like vying for it. <laughs>